Hi, we're Laura and Dan. We've bought a beautiful rustic Portuguese barn and have literally zero knowledge of building and farming, but plan on converting it into a beautiful off-grid homestead. Follow us on our journey. Today marks the start of our barn conversion project. So far, we've put in place some necessities to give us a good base to start our off-grid journey. Hiding Everything in life feels very frightening And I love it So much that I longer don't know why even So I My mind Every thought I have I'm done But it's like right. I know I just meet some guy and cry in Help me, I need a good day. Hola, bom dia, good morning. But today we're going to be starting a project that I know you guys have been really excited for. We've been really excited for it as well. We're going to be starting the barn conversion. We're going to be doing this alongside other projects as well because that's just the nature of being off-grid. We've never worked with stone before, we don't really know what we're doing, but like with anything we're just going to give it a go, do our best and turn this barn into a beautiful home for us. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking off these old bits of kind of iron that's on here. I utilised utilize these in an old project before when I built the gate, when I built my own gate hinges. So I'm going to take these off because we need these off as well. Um, I've already previously done one here. I took this one off here before and um, it came off quite easily. So I'm just going to keep chiseling off, get the next one off, and get the other one off and, um, and then start chiseling at this wall. So you can see there that um, obviously the previous person who just put these up, they've just used concrete. And as I'm starting to already chip away at this, I can start to see in the back here how there's like loads of granite stone starting to poke through. So once these come off and once we start chipping away at all this, it's going to reveal some beautiful stonework. So these bad boys are just going to come off. Now that Dan's took down the three metal posts, what he's going to do is he's going to start taking off this wood and expose this a bit better. It's kind of the part that doesn't want to take this down. It actually looks pretty good, doesn't it, the wood? Maybe we could do something like this in the future. Mm -hmm. We could do it ourselves. It please. needs to be tucked down, obviously, because I need to, I need to get back here and uh, make it like get treat the wall. But uh, it, it's it's kind of nice to see what you can do with it, you know, mm -hmm. like rustic look. Yeah, we can do that ourselves. Get some wood. Is that there? Not me, <laughs> me stepping. Oh, I got a shot myself there, do you? Oh, it looks really chilled. It does. Bless. Sorry, Lizard. I was like, probably, uh, I was stepping back there, I think I was going to jump out. This time last year, when we first bought the land and we did the land tour, the first video that we put up on this channel, there was absolutely loads of geckos in the barn. And we were, me and Dan were just saying, like, we haven't seen any since we've been back here, but now. We we'll see a little, a little guy up there. He's probably been hibernating, and now he's, you know, he's like, "What the hell are you two Northerners doing here?" Yeah. <laughs> Leave me alone. You're not made for this climate. <laughs> Leave me alone. It's 
quite a bit of um, cordwood. Like, see there's a bit of cordwood there, yeah. there's some cordwood there, some cordwood here. They've kind of, I think the original person that's kind of put them up. <laughs> I was watching the lizard. <laughs> I think I think the kind of the original person who must have put the cordwood cordwood in the gaps is to, they've kind of used it and maybe kind of strengthened the wall and filled it up. Yeah, it looks like what well, that's what points up. So now I've took all the wood off the outside of that. I'm just going to go around and start clearing everything out. So basically, what we need to do is is, is if you can see kind of around here, this is just coming off by itself. Everything that kind of any material like that that just comes off easy needs to be kind of took, taken out so that eventually we can strip it right back to the granite stone. Uh, as you can see, there's already some beautiful granite stone here, but that's what we have to do. We have to work around the whole of the barn and expose a lot of this granite stone um, so that we can get back to the original stone and then we can start from scratch again. But um, as you can see, there's a lot of cordwood in here. There's concrete, there's clay, there's everything. And as you can see, a lot of this just kind of, you tap it and a lot of it just comes off. But originally when these barns were built, um, you know, they, they built them with granite stone, but then afterwards what they did is, is a lot of the time it's just to kind of fill the holes in and kind of add some, add the walls and things like that. What they used to do is they used to use a lot of kind of clay and dirt. So a lot of this barn is actually already now a lot of clay and dirt and that's what needs to come up, come off. I'm literally such a wimp every time Dan goes in there and like uncovers a hole and stuff. I'm like, oh, Dan, there's going to be a rat in there. <laughs> Still not, uh, I'm still not I'm still not desensitized to it, but uh, I think I just need to be exposed to one and then get over the fear of like seeing one. Because we know that here, yeah, there's like this is literally just covered in rat poo. But uh, I'm gonna smoke out the little out the rats and make this our home and evict them. Big bad storm is rolling in by the thunder and fuck the wind. Ain't nothing ever gonna be the same. These April showers don't change a thing. As you can see, it's already starting to expose some of the granite stone behind here. I can't wait to see what it looks like once we've done the whole wall and the, the whole of the barn. It's gonna look at me. Laura's new best friend. <laughs> she loves it, doesn't she? Have you chilled? <laughs> How's that for you, Molly? You loving that? <laughs> Laura, I wish you'd tickle my belly like that. <laughs> You're not as cute as a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a good way of belly rubber, is there Laura? <laughs> Am I your favourite Molly? Who's your favourite? Me? I'm your favourite. <laughs> We're going to take a little break from clearing the walls and now we're going to start clearing out the outside of the barn. There's quite a lot of the old red tiles that were on the roof that we're going to move and shift to the bottom of the land. So I'm not sure why we haven't got around to this job yet, clearing out the outside of the barn, but I think we've just been focusing on so many different stuff that kind of, we've kind of bypassed it. But I got told by a friend of mine, which is really interesting, that all these old tiles, I mean, we're not going to be using these on the roof. We're going to be using these for chicken coops and things in the future. Uh, we're going to be eventually restoring the roof and getting some new tiles. And then that's, that's the way down the line anyway. But anyway, one of my friends told us a story about these old tiles. He said that in Portugal, every single one of these tiles is completely unique. And, and the reason why every single one of these tiles is unique is because when they were molded, people used to mold them on their own knees. So this was a, a big fat guy, <laughs> clearly, unless I'm just a skinny guy. <laughs> this was a little skinny guy, maybe that was me. <laughs> that actually fits. <laughs> that fits my leg. It's like Cinderella. <laughs> but tiles. basically, every single um, tile is uniquely moulded to the person's knee who actually kind of created these in the first place, which I think is really interesting.
So I don't know why this is, but like all around the barn, you just find random bits of kind of crowbars, steel, iron. I'm not sure if the, the previous Portuguese farmer was using it as a storage rack or something, drying his clothes or something. <laughs> Who knows, he was using it for something though. But just always just random bits of stuff hanging out everywhere. So I'm just gonna go around the whole barn and wherever there's little bits of metal, steel, I'm just gonna end up, I'm gonna take it all out. Someone's left a, some type of, type of Portuguese tin pan. So the wild thing is like when you when you kind of like digging around and you like you're finding all the old cleaning out the barn and kind of cleaning out the outside, you always find kind of old random Portuguese artifacts. <laughs> now we have a pan. <laughs> Feel like an archaeologist going through and clearing up all the gaps and uncovering the different things just want to find some uh, mammoth bones <laughs> you might find a dead body laura yeah <laughs> <laughs> maybe a few dead rats maybe <laughs> maybe you'll find the previous portuguese owner <laughs> maybe. this is what i have to deal with on a daily basis don't i What's up? And look after your little baby, don't you? You need a bib. <laughs> I've got food down my beard again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All down your top as well. Oh shit. You got a little bib? <laughs> I promise it's yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> it better be. <laughs> This morning we've got a lot of jobs to do. Um, I've got a list all the way from all the way from here, all the way down to my little small pinky toe to get cracking with. To start, I'm going to head off to the building yard as I've got to pick up some building supplies because we've got so many different jobs and projects that are currently ongoing on the land, and um, we need a lot of building supplies to start. So we're going to go and do that to kick it off anyway. So let's do it. <laughs> Yeah, it's all good. Good. Let me get it out now. Time to lob it out. <laughs> it's a massive sandcastle, this. <laughs> sandcastle. Build the castles. Yeah. <laughs>
that's done, got to head back again to the building yard and now get some stones. Avocado, amigo. Ciao. Back her up, back her up. Let's begin. This is just fast. Are you ready for the humor? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> the weather's shoddy, but the comedy is electric. <laughs> the weather's terrible, but you need some comedy in this to, to keep the spirits high, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the gravel now in the truck back to the land. So what I'm, we need to do now is I need to back the truck up and find a nice little cosy spot on the land so that we can work from there in the future when we're doing building jobs. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubt Be free with me I'm starting to make a little bit of progress now as I'm working around. I'm like a bit of a mad scientist with these on. <laughs> Some crazy experiments going on here. Breaking bad sessions. But um, I'm basically working my way around now, kind of digging off all the clay. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot more time consuming than you think. And um, you've got to obviously kind of be, you've got to kind of be firm when you're hitting them off, but also delicate because you don't want to break the granite underneath. So it's just a, it's just a kind of a gradual process. It's going to take time. I'm slowly working my way around the whole building and uh, we'll see how it looks once I keep going. So as I was chipping away at the stones, I was cleaning out this area around here. And originally, me and Laura just kind of thought that this was a place, maybe kind of a feature that was in the barn or something. Maybe it was some kind of ancient use that we don't understand, something to do with storage seeds or something like that. Or maybe he was just gonna store his, his, uh, his tools here or maybe something more nefarious, who knows? I'll leave the verdict up to you. <laughs> but anyway, as, I, as I've been unrevealing this and I've been taking more of the dirt away, I actually realised that there was a, a little bit of hole, a bit of light poking through. So I asked Laura to go to the other side and figure out where the hole was. And as we've gone around the other side, which I'll show you in a second, you can see that this is a window, which is really awesome. So we've now got a really good feature in the barn, which I'm really excited about. So the plan is now, I've seen it is we're hopefully gonna be able to, if it's structurally sound, which it should be, because it's, it's originally been like that, it's just been filled in for some reason, we're gonna take this out and we're gonna add a window feature in here, which will be awesome. So anyway, I'll have a look outside and I'll show you where the, the window is, because it's clear to see, you can see it now. So this is where the window is on the outside, and now you kind of know where it is, you can definitely see it. So I can see here, there's a few stones that have just been placed in here. And if I reveal more of these, you can see where that is a window. So to me, we'll leave them there for now, but eventually we'll be able to take this out and hopefully put a window in, window in place, which will be awesome. It seems a lot lower as well right now, like compared to the inside, but I think that's because there's so much ground uh, buildup of dirt around on this floor and that kind of makes the barn look smaller on the outside. But when you get inside, you know, I'm standing about here on it. I actually can't believe how much of the clay and the dirt's come off the walls that have been chipping away. There's still so much more to go. I'm starting to reveal some of the bigger stones now, some of the more granite stones. But I mean, look at that. I mean, this floor here was, this actually had dips in the corner and where I've took it off, I mean, so much, so much dirt. I feel like um, if anyone out there has seen the film Gladiator, I actually feel a bit like Gladiator, the film. You know, every time Foy has a, Foy has a fight, he picks up the dirt and he feels the dirt like this. I feel like gladiator.
So as I was digging around this area and cleaning this up ready to kind of start working on the stone, I found some really cool artifacts. I think these must be off like maybe 100 years old, old maybe because um, the lock that's currently on the door now is not the same lock for these. So um, it's really cool to be able to find a little bit of history and we're thinking about kind of cleaning these up a little bit and making some kind of picture and putting them in the barn when the barn's fully restored, which I think would look really good. Definitely. We've got lots done today, we've done so much, even though it doesn't look like we've chipped off a lot of the walls at the moment, it's a very difficult job. So I think it's just one of these things where it's perseverance and hard work to get it off and it's just doing a little bit every day to finally chip it all off. But as we've been doing this, we've been getting deliveries in for other projects that we're gonna be starting, which you'll see in future videos. So it's all been a bit hands-on at the moment, but it's just part of uh, turning this into a beautiful homestead. So I'm gonna end this week's video here. Thank you so much for watching and all the comments and the support and the advice, we really appreciate it. And we'll catch you guys in the next one, bye. And another artifact that I found was some willy pills. <laughs> <laughs> willy pills. <laughs> so uh, I think the, the original farmer was uh, needed a bit of, he was using some Viagra at one time. <laughs> so anyone out there who understands Northern humour, wheeze keys are these keys. <laughs> <laughs> I've probably got more Mac and blood in us anyway, who someone doesn't understand that anyway. So uh, it's not really, I'm actually taking the mick out myself on that one. <laughs> I've probably got half Mac and blood, half Geordie blood. Yeah, you're in between, aren't you? People probably don't even understand what that means. <laughs> if you get it, you get it. Wheeze keys are these keys. <laughs>